Hi guys, welcome to Simproved Fry Speaking here and welcome to my little tutorial video about building a fully functional mansard roof in The Sims 4. So basically what we will learn today here is how to use some roof pieces, how rooms work in The Sims and how also you can maybe decorate some of these self-made dormers that are fully functional. There will be some balconies, there will be some, you know, columns you could use, some trims and yeah, it will be fully functional. Your Sims will use it and can really live inside the roof in The Sims 4. So yeah, stay tuned for the tutorial. I hope this will be helpful. All right, welcome back to the game's build mode. So here we are at our missing mansard roof. So basically I already have like the fancy box. I want to go for this Parisian townhouse style. And we want of course to have this as a usable apartment on top. So I've seen lots and lots of people already going with like a normal hip roof and then they just go in here you know have like a roof on top and then they go into the roof decorations and just you know place the dormers inside like that yeah of course you can do that but then basically what you can do is play on this level like there can't be any functional of course apartments in there so if you want to do that basically what we have to do is to build the apartments first and then we will put the roof all around it. So basically what I'm going to do is create a room. If you just ask yourself how I did that, I just go back and, and there's this little thing called the B key. The B key will always select the wall tool for you. And you can also always see the tools icon above this long arrow and yeah when I drag it it's just a wall and you can basically do lots and lots of walls like that but if you have that selected and you press the shift key hold on let me do it like here and you press the shift key the icon changes to the room tool automatically and you can just drag and drop it uh, which you could also do with the room tool just clicking on it for those who are in console but yeah, if you're on PC, I usually always use the shortcuts and it's way quicker that way. So now we have a little box on top of our box and we have selected the shortest wall height for us here. Um, this only works in build mode if you have the shortest wall height. If you want to have a higher wall height, because the roofs can't extend that big, you have to go in by one and theoretically then you can make it higher and so on because it has to do with the fact that you can't push the walls up that high so um, for beginners i would always say go to the smallest wall height which you can select here if you go on a room right there's always this little menu here and we go to short wall height you create your little box for the roof and keep in mind that we need one tile around where we will place the roofs on. So for my Parisian style townhouse, they usually have a roof on top. So we're going to do it as well. Going to put that up here, which looks super big now. Uh, yeah, with these round arrows, basically you can push it to the side and so on like you can already do with rooms and with that arrow you can make it smaller which I'm gonna do here I don't know how small let's see maybe like that all right we're gonna choose our I go for metal roofing because most of these have metal roofing and I use the base game sheet metal roof in this case and now what we're gonna do is we will draw our dormers so we go into b key or to the wall selection tool like i did or room tool how you want it to be select the thing 
and this is going to be our first stormer. So this two by one tile is going to be usable for the Sims, right? And keep in mind that the outer corner can be used. So if you put this here, it can be possible, but I would say this is a little bit more, you know, profesh. <laughs> so in my opinion, it looks always good to have at least one tile in here. It kind of looks exactly like these Persian, you know, townhouses. So what you can already see, my trim did deselect it because I put another room on top of it and trims always snap to the bottom of a room. And what I also want to do is I press the B key. I'm going to put a little trim on top as well. And since trims always go under a room, uh, I have to put a little plate without any walls and any roofs on it, which is this one here. It's called the flat square. But basically what it does, it creates your room, which only has like a base floor but no walls and no ceiling. Um, and that's exactly what we need. So I go to the trims and I will just select maybe this one, the jutting exterior trim. Okay, cool. So we have the base of our dorm here now. I will also already put a little window in there. So it is, we can later copy that dormer over and over again. And we already have a really nice looking dormer. Uh, maybe a really fancy one like very good all right and also what we want to use is i'm going to use just base game because i think it's has the same kind of cool look to it let's do a really small one maybe that's right it's a little bit big okay okay then we can just go by this one all right course we need some wallpaper i'm just gonna select a pretty and plaster which is also base game it's i think in the masonry if we select base game let's just look it up if it's really base game yeah pretty and plaster is base game you can find it in masonry all right so now that we have that we have the dormers right and i'm just gonna on this little corner show you how the basic idea behind the men's hard roof that's functional in sims works so what we need is what we're gonna do is we have to create three more little roofs so let's go and do that i already have them please selected so you can see what we are going to aim for and but i'm going to do them with you together so we need a half gabled roof which is the third on the left i'm just going to put it somewhere and as you can see, it's always three by three tiles big. It has some eaves. It looks very clunky. It's quite narrow high, whatever it mean, that means. But yeah, what we definitely need to do is we're going to build lots and lots of little roof helping structures, so to speak. Um, and uh, for that, we don't need any eaves. So select these little pointed arrows and tuck them in. You can see them on the side. So basically these eaves here, they make these long overhangs, which we definitely don't need for our little roof here. And we do that on top as well. Otherwise it will look like this. Could be interesting maybe for modern houses, but in our case, we really just want the whole roof texture really up against the wall piece of the roof. So then we make it one by one. All right, and then we have this little nugget of roof go down by one and um, it always helps you to have the walls up so you can see what's going on and uh, yeah what we're basically gonna do is we're gonna push it up 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 so it has this connection to that roof you can already see that the texture at one point will, you know, just kind of snap. So here we can see it a little bit better. Exactly. Perfect. Okay. This is basically one of the roofs. And now what you're going to do is something that I do a lot. So basically this roof you can select as well, just like the rooms and etc. So if you click on them, you have a little menu, which can, you know, you can rotate them. You can move them and pick them up. And what we're definitely going to need is to copy them. So copy is also under that. 
and then you're just gonna create a two by two in my case you can of course do them differently so later you can experiment with different roof pieces and so on but basically you always need this um, gabled roof for sure this half gabled roof all right the next thing is our corners and for the corners we need a half ripped hip roof so this is how this piece is gonna look like so we take the half hip roof put them somewhere you know make them smaller in this case it's not a one by one but a two by one and we're gonna move them on the edge here and now we just do the same we move it up 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 and i think that looks quite good maybe a little pixel more yeah like that and then the e key you can easily go to the e eyedropper tool i always press e and select that all right so we have this little corner here does it look a little bit wonky maybe a bit maybe a bit but yeah on the bigger side i think it's gonna be fine yeah like that maybe all right and this is basically already almost everything we need all right and now we're gonna do and copy the stormer with the trim with the window and everything and then just gonna put our functional dormers so i'm just gonna put them in in a two tile ratio right there and then you can already see what you have to fill in. So you copy over the longer half gabled roof. Then we need a little corner here. And this corner half hipped roof on that side. Et voila, you already have the front. Now, of course, you also want to have maybe the trim, which is a two by one little flat square. Just gonna copy that over and now we also need maybe you want to have that of course i've seen some have like a really flat roof but in this case you can of course decorate it differently however you want so you could go for maybe something like that you know kind of make it disappear into the main roof so to speak i'm gonna copy that over or you have you know different options maybe so here again we're gonna drag drop the whole eaves in in my case because i just think it looks better I'm gonna make it smaller again all right and yeah this way you have like little dormers etc that you can decorate and in this case you can even put a little wallpaper so um, yeah, let's go around this and try again. So you can always copy these things. You can also put them on the sides um, and try out different things. So I'm just going to do a little thing different here on this case. I'm just going to put two here. And then I'm just going to copy one into the middle and make a really big dormer. Hmm, maybe this is a little bit too big, but... Hold on, thing is clicked. Okay, copy. Oh, this is a longer side anyway, apparently. All right, so this is a three by one dormer in this case. And yeah, we're just gonna go around here as well. Oops, I selected the smaller one, but no, pro no problem. Okay, I'm gonna put them in here. Just copy them over, over and over again. Here we go. And in my case, I kind of like this sort of roof. The copy tool, by the way, if you have the copy tool selected with anything, um, sometimes, you know, you hold them in your hand, in your little cursor hand. And for roofs, for example, if you place them, you don't have them in your hand anymore. But maybe you have lots and lots of dormers that you want to do before, you know, and you could do this basically anything that you have copied so you can just hold shift and it cop and it stays in your hand this way so this time i'm gonna let loose of the shift key and just place it down like that so we have already everything pre-selected same here copy the roof turn it with the period key or the comma key or you know just use the pre 
these ones, these little arrows if you want to. And if I hold shift, I can basically spam them everywhere if I want to. Okay. In this case, I'm just gonna need one more. And maybe now I'm just gonna do some trimming as well. Maybe in white. This one already had blue trimming my three pieces. But basically, you know, finish this all off. And uh, yeah, this is basically how you do the original men's art roof. So I'll have a little look inside. And you can see we have a whole room here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just, you know, as a test, delete the wall around the stairs in my case and put them over here yeah, so I can have them overhang each other. All right, so now my sins can go up here. And of course I want them to use these things here. So what you could do, you can of course delete the walls, which you can do if you have the B key, well, the wall tool selected, and you can just press down control. What I personally like to do, because it's way quicker and also more beautiful, is, you know, select some sort of spandrel and just do this. So later on, I can also go inside maybe with some... I don't know, some columns and my case I'm just gonna turn this one maybe, I don't care. But yeah. I have like a nice rounded experience here. If you click on them again, you can have the arch shape that the spandrels create automatically. Sometimes they appear automatically, sometimes you have to click on the columns again. But yeah, basically your sims can walk here. Um this is all possible now. They can really live here. You can, you know, drag drop everything. Um and yeah, basically this is your whole experience. You can also paint the walls differently. So here, you know, because basically we have all the different roofs. Um, and roofs can only have one color. Basically this wall here is from the roof from the outside. Um, but yeah, now you can also color them individually. Because I've seen some people ask for that, why that is happening sometimes. So this way you have a fully functional men's art roof. Um, what I want to finish this off as for the tutorial is also have some different kinds of men's art balconies, so to speak. So that's something that I like for maybe more modernized houses. It's maybe something like that. And of course, I'm going to copy the hipped side as well, turning this with the comma key in my case. And then I could have a little, I don't know, like a door here, which looks absolutely horrible in this case. I'm sorry, but maybe this, you know, have like little doors. And then if you want to, I mean, the Sims don't need them, but you could put any sort of fence here. Go to selecting the fence, <laughs> which doesn't fit at all. Maybe more metal or something like that. Yeah. And then you have little balconies, for example, which are functional, of course. So your sims can go here and they have a little tucked in balcony of some sort. So I've seen that, of course. So that's quite cute. Um, and yeah, just um, for the finishing touch again. I've also seen some people do the mansard roof a little bit differently, which is of course the fence on top, you know, a really flat roof on the top. And for this, you basically just delete the gabled roof, um, which you could also do in the beginning. And then I don't know, I'm just gonna, maybe a really low one like this. I'm just gonna go like the wall key, just press shift for the room. And there you go. Basically like that. The thing is, what I personally don't like is then the dormers don't look that good. Because, you know, now you can see that the, maybe you have to experiment a little bit with the heights of the different, um, you know, fences. I've also seen people do this with half walls. I think that works better. Let's see. Let's do like a middle one. And I think with half walls, this works way better. This is a little bit high in my case. But yeah. yeah, maybe use a half wall. See, even I learned something this time. <laughs> oh, 
Mm. Yeah, maybe like that. You can also put like a fancy trim here. And yeah, and that might also work. I think from downstairs it looks quite good like that as well. In my case, I always prefer the gable roof because there's not much you can do on the fourth floor. Well, the one, two, three, four, fifth floor. So we can only build this high. So I usually tend for this, you know, put the, hello, there it is, <laughs> put the gabled roof back again. Um, but yeah. So, um, yeah, there are different ways to decorate this. In my opinion, you should just, you know, um, try to, you know, experiment with the sizes of the dormers, which is basically just two by one in my case, rooms or three and whatnot, you know. In my opinion, it always looks good if it's symmetrical, but I've already seen so many cool builders, you know, pulling off very asymmetrical builds. In my opinion, Keeping it symmetrical at the start of building in The Sims is way easier and it's always pleasing to the eye. All right, guys, that's it with the tutorial. I went in and also started to decorate them differently. Here we have the three or even four by one dormer with a little balcony that my Sim can use to, you know, cut down the bonsai trees. And then we go over and I decorated them very modern ones with some planters and my son can even paint here and inside in the little nooks um, there are different ways to use them so we have a little, little knitting corner or a little office space a little table or just you know as nook for a lounge kind of area maybe very girly but yeah these are like different ways you could use these mansard roofs that. and yeah that's basically it guys i hope that you like this tutorial and uh, yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you soon bye bye